Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success, an online free coaching institute. So here today we present to you an important topic that is on important things that has happened in India in 2016. So here you can see the office wearers. Our president is Pranam Mukherjee, Vice President Mohammad Hamid Ansar. You also know the Vice President is the Chairman of the Upper House of the Parliament, that is Raj Shabha, and the Prime Minister is <coughs> Narendra Modi. So this video is presented by me, Shirshendu Mitro, Research Scholar of Indian Institute of Technology, Guwahati. So here is some information about me. So if you have any queries, you can directly put me an email and I will be happy to reply of your questions. This video, okay, so this is a disclaimer. Things which are thought as important as per our knowledge and experience are only cited here in this video. Information collected over a wide range of sources. All the sources have been cited as a reference as far as practicable. We do not claim any originality of this video, but the information gathered here are authentic and genuine. Any copyright infringement has not been made here during the compilation of this video. So we now start with the information. The 1st January what has happened. The Indian and Pakistan governments provided one another with the full list of nuclear sites, military and civilian. In accordance with the agreement that was signed in 1980, the year 1988, non-nuclear aggression agreement. So, little bit I'll tell you about this. What was actually this non-nuclear aggression agreement? As, as these two countries are fighting with each other quite a long time from a long time before. So, what they did, they made an agreement where they would share their mili their military, civilian, nuclear information so that people come to know what the countries are doing, whether they have any threat or nuclear weapon or not. So that is the agreement and according to that agreement they share the information and that has happened on 1st January. Now we come to 2nd January. 2nd January and what I, what I can say, a very bad pathetic incident has happened that Heavily armed gunmen, reportedly members of Jais e Muhammad, a militant group of Pakistan, attacked an Indian Air Force base camp in Pathankot and that took two lives. And that is a serious issue and uh, that attracted the media. And uh, during this time, you already know uh, in all the news channels, uh, we have seen so many things happened over this button code attack and our government also become a little bit cautious after this attack. Then another incident took place on 17 January, suicide of a student of Hyderabad University who was a PhD student, uh, his name is Rohit Bhamula. That attracted, uh, this incident attracted a major attention of media and politicians. What has happened actually that is not so far investigated and that is not so clear but whatever media provided us, uh, the whatever information media provided and so far we know from the evidences given in this regard. There was a, uh, there was a bad thing that the student was not getting a stipend, PhD stipend that is 25,000 per month which is an area PhD student gets. He was not getting the stipend over a period of six months as reported and that may have done something with his mental condition and that's why he may have taken such a decision. He may. But the thing is, uh, one more controversy came in this regard that he was a Dalit student and he was not given with the rights that people generally should have been given with. But uh, all those things are controversial, so you do not go into details, uh, let us go, let us carry forward. So, the 26th January 2016, what has happened, you already know that is our Republic Day, we all, every year we celebrate this Republic Day of India. So, in the year 2016, French President Francis Holland, he was the chief guest and it was 67th Republic Day of India. And 
in this regard you should know who is the chief guest of upcoming republic day and he, this person is the upcoming republic day guest and he is abu dhabi the crown prince of abu dhabi sheikh muhammad bin zayed al naim this is a, he is the chief guest and then i come to february another controversial event happened at jnu campus delhi that led to arrest of jnu student union president kanaiya kumar along with other student union members investigation states that anti national slogans were given at this very event and parliament and parliament attack 2001 accused abjal guru was portrayed as a hero a nationalist instead of terrorist kanaiya kumar was arrested and was booked under ipc section 124a that is sedition and 120b that is criminal conspiracy so what has happened actu actually one event was going on and there so few people started giving slogan that abjal guru is a hero uh, our government should not hang abjal guru and uh, they claim the authenticity of pakistan they claim kashmir to be a part of pakistan and so many things happen after that controversy went in such a level that more than one month that kanaiya kumar he was the headline of the new all news channel and uh, you already know the people who do not know anything but uh, they know the name of the kamal kanaiya kumar at least so i'm not going into the details because that is not our intention so we quickly go forward so 2016 india pakistan military confrontation that has happened on 29 september i'm sorry uh, this uh, this uh, uh, i took this incident initially that should uh, that should be placed at the last because this is a in this is an incident of september uh, anyway as it came i'm telling you what happened on 29 september 2016 a military confrontation between india and pakistan and that has been named as surgical strikes that uh, what we did basically what our indian army did they they did a a surgical strikes and that happened on 29 september 2016 indian media reported the casualty figures from 35 to 50 so what happened we we reached line of control we crossed the line of control and we we just killed all the militant people who were stay who were are illegally staying there near the line of control that is the surgical strike another thing happened 8 july 2016 burhan wani he was also a famous person and he became more famous after his death what happened it's not tell india our security personnel killed him he was a militant commander uh, of the kashmiri based hizbul mujahideen so hizbul mujahideen is a militant group that is an illegal militant group and he was the leader of his militant commander of that group and he was killed by our military person our security person that is kashmir police and rashtriya rifles those teams those two team killed burhan wani on 8 july and this incident also made a huge a huge protest in kashmir and that too that too took more than eight, lives of more than 70 people as reported by media or indian government so what happened he was a militant and what was his goal he tried to make kashmir as part of pakistan because he thought that indian government is not doing well, not doing well for and indian government is not thinking for the well being of kashmiri people so that's why he wanted to make kashmir a part of pakistan so those things are also controversial we do not go into details so then what happened in 22nd july 
the 22nd July in news channel the headline was disappearance of a air force plane air force a 32 disappear on this 2000 on this 22nd July 2016 so what has happened Ma uh, a plane you can see here that was air force plane and that was going from this place to that place that is Port Blair and supposed to reach at 11 45 a.m. and it started at 8.30 from this place that is Tambaram Air Force Base Station. But what happened? Suddenly this Air Force plane did not reach Port Blair and at this meeting that is the Bay of Bengal somewhere it went missing. So after the missing a massive search operation was launched by Union Government, Indian Navy and Indian Coast Guard. 16 ships, a submarine and 6 aircraft were deployed, uh, deployed to search for the missing AN-32 in the Bay of Bengal about 150 nautical miles east of Chennai. Later on the search operation was ceased because nothing happened, we did not get anything and the families of the demised were informed as presumed death. That means uh, we did not get anybody, so we presume that they had something happened and they all died. So then, third August, sorry, this is third August 2016. It is written July. So third uh, August, what happened? Historic GST bill was debated in upper house and parliament, upper house of parliament, and was passed unanimously. This is 101st Amendment of Constitution of India. And that bill was introduced by Arun Jetli and it has been a huge, huge matter of debate. The GST bill, uh, it almost uh, quite a long time before, it has been placed for debate in, uh, in Parliament, but it did not pass because of opposition. But then, uh, were few amendments made and it ultimately passed by Rajya Sabha. 2nd August 2016, what happened? Gujarat CM Anandi Ben Patel suddenly resigned, giving his health condition as the reason of his quit, of her quit. Point to be noted, she was the successor of Narendra Modi, who is the Prime Minister of India now. Then, uh, after her resignation, Vijay Rupani was declared as her successor for the same post, that is, Chief Minister of Gujarat. Then, uh, we come to 2016 Summer Olympics that happened in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, from 5 to 21st August 2016. So, we, India backed two medals, one silver and one bronze. PV Sindhu, Indian girl, got the silver for the first time that is in women single and that took place in August 19 and Sakshi Malik uh, managed a bronze medal uh, that uh, game was August 17 and this is women's freestyle 58 kg wrestling then 8 August 2016 again so I am very sorry again the July came somehow so this 8th August, historic GST bill was passed in the lower house after it passed in the upper house on 3rd of the same month. As I told 3rd, uh, it was passed in Rajya Sabha uh, and then it passed in Lok Sabha in 8th August. What happened in 4th September? Urjit Patel appointed RBI governor, you know, previous RBI governor was Dr. Rubhuram Rajan and Dr. Raghuran Rajan was offered with the second term, but he did not take the second term. He left RBI governorship and went in academics. That's why Urjit Patel, who was the, uh, was the, who was also associated with the RBI, and uh, he got the governorship. And then, 8 September 2016, what happened? GST bill got assent of president and become an act. In this regard, I should tell you, uh, this is a constitutional amendment bill, so it has 
uh, this bill had to pass by both houses of parliament that is upper house rajya sabha and the lower house lok sabha not only that it required ratification of the 50% of the state governments that is in every state assembly there uh, they should pass the bill and 50% of the assembly gave ratification that's why it that's why it uh, went to president uh, for his signature his assent as he had given the assent it became an act on 8 September 2016, but it is not. It is still not in practice. Uh, government is hoping to make it happen in April 2017. Then 18 September 2016, what happened? Another pathetic incident. Another militant attack happened in Uri, in of Kashmir. The 2016 Uri attack was an attack by four heavily armed terrorists on 18 September 2016 near the town of Uri in the Indian administered administered state of Jammu and Kashmir it was reported as the deadliest attack on security forces in Kashmir in two decades the militant group Jais e Muhammad is suspected of being involved in the planning and execution of the attack at the time of attack the kashmir valley region was at the center of unrest during 85 civilians civilians were killed and thousand injured clashed with the security forces okay then we come to 15 to 16 october 2016 what happened brics summit that happened in india this year and that happened in goa taj exotica hotel and those were the Uh, members of BRICS: Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, and those person that is the Brazil president Michael Temer, Russia president Vladimir Putin, Narendra Modi, China president Xi Jinping, and the South African president Jacob Zuma. All of them were present in this summit. Then we come to 8 November. What happened in 8 November? Everybody knows the historic decision of demonetization. that took place on 8 november 8 november at 8 pm in the evening pradhan mantri our our prime minister narendra modi he made an announcement to demonetize the 500 and 1000 denominations with immediate effect and that rock the media every day you see demonetization demonetization everywhere you go people are talking about demonetization that any feeds advantages disadvantages of demonetization and uh, that we can have a huge topic of discussion among all section of people and i do not i do not go to any controversy whether it has good effect or bad effect but my intention is to provide you the information and that is the information what has happened on 8 november 22 november a pathetic incident happened near kanpur indore patna express derailment and that claims 150 lives that is not not uh, less amount this is uh, 150 lives 150 people died and so many injured and then 5 december 2016 on 5 december what happened another incident another pathetic incident you can say jayalalit the chief minister of tamil nadu died of cardiac arrest then 13 December 2016. What happened? Priyanka Chopra, the Bollywood actress, nowadays she is doing Hollywood movies also. He became the UNICEF's goodwill ambassador and shares stage with David Beckham, Orlando Bloom, like so 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 important person. She is in the same row. You can see all of them are UNICEF's goodwill ambassador. 25th November. What happened? Prime Minister Modi lays foundation stone of AIMS at Bharti in the Punjab. Twenty-second December. What happened? Nazib Zang, who who was the Lieutenant Governor of Delhi, suddenly gave his resignation, and uh, his tenure were left with eighteen more eighteen more months. But so eighteen months before he gave his resignation. Exact reason for such decision is still to be investigated, but he mentioned 
there is some personal reason of doing this but uh, and he wanted to go to academia but still uh, controversy is going on and a uh, few announcement happened uh, regarding appointments in december 2016 by government of india and those are uh, a research and analysis wing raw anil uh, so the research of analysis wing appointment who would be the uh, new ch uh, head of raw this is the person anil dasmana senior ips officer 1981 batch from madhya pradesh cadre and the former person was rajinder khanna then chief of army staff bipin rawat has been named as the new next chief army staff replacing dalbir singh his tenure is going to end on 31st december 2016 and that has become another controversy because bipin rawat was given this position uh, that is that was not expected because in general uh, this position is given with uh, with seniority but uh, he escaped he managed to go to this position by being a junior he managed to get this position so that has become a matter of controversy and the opponent parties are making issue on that uh, so chief of intelligence bureau who is going to be the next chief of intelligence bureau he the person is rajiv jain he was also a ips officer senior ips officer 1980 batch for jharkhand cadre and the former person was dineshwar sharma next air chief iaf virender singh dana would be the bs dana would be the new air chief who was the air marshal and he is replacing arup raha he is a bengali chief justice of india here uh, 44th chief justice of india jagdish singh kher he is replacing ts thakur uh, the important thing to be noted here uh, he would be the chief justice of india only for four or five months because uh, the qualification which is required for chief justice of india after four months he would be he would not be qualified for chief justice because of his age so he would be the chief justice of india for maximum four or five months okay so now we'll give you uh, some information regarding the assembly election that happened in 2016 Uh, five assembly election to, uh, took place in 2016 and those were assam assembly election and uh, bjp was the winner of the assam assembly election uh, initially uh, indian national congress was there in assam and now the chief minister is uh, sarbanand sanwal is the bjp cadre then west bengal all india trinamool congress again made the second term and mamta banerjee is uh, we became the chief minister for the second time and then kerala legislative assembly cpi managed to win there and pinari vijayan is the chief minister of kerala then puducherry it's a uh, union territory but still it has legislative assembly that's why prime minister uh, sorry uh, chief minister indian national congress managed there and v narayan sami became the chief minister of puducherry then tamil nadu jayalalitha again won but uh, as i told he died sorry she died she died okay then uh, few more information regarding cricket icc cricketer of the year who became the icc cricketer of the year and uh, is the our uh, ravin uh, our ravi chandran ashwin he became the cricketer of the year not only that he became the test cricketer of the year also and who made the list in one day cricket and the person is quinton de cock he is a south african player and the uh, uh, women's odi cricketer of the year you can see suji bates new zealand same same person for women's t20 cricketer of the year then t20 performance of the year carlos of west indies 
emerging cricketer of the year you can see the rahman of bangladesh m rahman associate affiliate cricketer of the year mohammad sajad of afghanistan and icc speed spirit of cricket award that goes to misbah ul haq of pakistan umpire of the year the david shepherd trophy award went to this person m eramus sorry m erasmus okay so now uh, we should know the nobel laureates uh, who are the person given with nobel prize in the year 2016 So those are the person who made the list of Nobel Prize. You can see the Nobel Prize in Chemistry. Nobel Prize in Chemistry is given to Sir J. Fraser Stoddart and Bernard L. and Jean P. Savage for the design of synthesis of molecular machines. So they made the molecular machines because of this work. Uh, they are given with nobel prize in chemistry and in physiology or medicine your shinori osumi this is the this is the person who got nobel prize because of the mechanism of autophagy and this uh, this is the person the, those are the person who got nobel prize in physics in 2016 for the theoretical discoveries of topological phase transitions and topological phase of matter who are the person you can see here david j tholes michael j michael and f duncan m halden those are the person got nobel prize because of physics and bob dylan he got nobel prize in literature uh, what for he has been given with the this prize because for having created new poetry expressions within the great american song tradition the nobel prize of in peace this year went to manuel santos for his resolute efforts efforts to bring countries more than 50 year long civil war to an end so this is not a matter of joke <coughs> and in economic science oliver hart and bengt holmstrom they were given with the nobel prize for the contributions to contract theory so thank you very much for this for seeing this video and uh, you can also check our blogs in this website http://blogsbyiitjians@blogspot.in we will be uploading the same thing in a blog so that you can you can know so many things those are left in this video we'll try to cover it in this blog so keep visiting our website blog thank you very much